What is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and tonight I will be reacting to If Your Cat Bites You, Here's What It Really Means. I just thought my cat would... I imagine that if he would, would bite me, uh, it's because I've been a very bad owner. Um... I did get scratched today by him, but that's because he showed me his belly, and I didn't, I didn't retract, um, I didn't retract quick enough, and when I was coming up, he, he turned and got me, but, this is by Rain Brain Time, and let's get right into this. Hello, everyone. Humans have not yet learned to understand the language of animals, and that's why their behavior generates many questions. Why do dogs tilt their heads all the time, and why do cats make such strange noises? <laughs> we'll try to answer all your questions. I've never heard that sound come out of a cat. Then maybe we can help you understand your pets a little bit better. Let's get it on. Why do cats bite? You've probably found yourself in the following situation. You're petting your beloved cat, and he suddenly bites you really hard. Don't take it personally. Your little buddy still loves you. He's just tired of all the attention. Yes, cats use aggression to communicate. So biting is not just a sign of hostility, but also a way of saying no. The desire to bite can also indicate playfulness. Here's a good example. Hello. Hello. This behavior cannot be described as threatening at all. The kitten simply perceives the hand as an unusual toy. Why do dogs bark when seeing hugs? Look at these images. The girl wants to hug the guy, but the pit bull seems to be against this public display of affection. Be like, no, no hug. Only I get all the attention. It's a fairly common behavior. Our four-legged friends may bark, growl, and even attack their owner if they're being hugged by someone else. You might think that they're just jealous, but the explanation is much more complicated. In the dog world, there is no such thing as kisses or other similar forms of affection, so they perceive close contact as a threat. What do you do if someone gets into a fight at your house? That's right, you break them up. <laughs> So remember that it's not worth scolding your dog in these situations. He just wants world peace. Why do cats freeze with their mouth open? Cats can transform from graceful and noble animals to extremely weird creatures in a second. Have you ever noticed, for example, how they open their mouths and look around confused? No. What is that? Some kind of disease or a state of shock? Turns out it's a way of tasting the air. Cats have extra olfactory receptors in their mouths and open them to take a better sense of certain smells. And of course, sometimes this peculiarity leads to very comical situations. Why do cats knock things over? Because they're bored and they need something to do. Why don't you like this glass, buddy? No matter what's on the table, if you have a cat, he is definitely going to try to push it off to the floor. Animals don't do it out of malice. <laughs> they just want to get attention or have a little fun. That is skippable. So skip I will do. And sometimes it's the cats hunting it. In most cases, it's the young animals that enjoy this kind of entertainment. Don't forget that deep down, they are still wild predators. 
Why do parrots grind their beaks? The fact that parrots can emit different sounds is not something new. But sometimes these animals can surprise us with their singing. Chirps, clicks, taps. It's more like a sound of an old broken device. Oddly enough, scientists claim that parrots do this when they're happy. And the grinding also means the bird is getting ready to go to bed. This little fellow was tapping to a beat and fell asleep on his owner's arm. Well, parrots are probably a lot more social than some of our four-legged companions. Why do cats bring us gifts? Cats really like to bring gifts to their owners, sometimes. Like dead animals. If you have a cat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They'll go kill something and bring it to the front door, like, or just walk in and be like, Mom, Dad, see what I got. That's, that's real nice. Now, let's take it outside. It can be a mouse or a dead bird, but other times it can be something strange. Why not, for example, make your owner happy with a sock? Who knows? Maybe the cat wanted to set her free. Most often this behavior occurs in mother cats. They bring prey to their kittens to teach them to hunt, but somehow people also end up in this category. Besides, the gift may be your pet's favorite toy. Do we need to explain that it's impolite to ignore this kind of gesture? Why do dogs walk in circles? Even those who have never owned a dog know that dogs do a couple of laps around their bed before turning in. You'd be surprised, but it's a very old tradition. Rather than a common case of canine insanity, dogs used to live and sleep outside. Yes, there were no padded sofas or comfy beds back then, so walking around before going to bed helped flatten the tall grass and chase away snakes and insects. As you can see, the ritual has survived to this day thanks to natural instinct. Why do cats drag their food out of their bowl? Look at this cat. She has two beautiful bowls in front of her, but she still prefers to eat from the floor. I want that one. The rest of you will die when I'm hungry again. You may have guessed by now that it's not a whim at all and that cats do it for a reason. Most likely the owner of this animal has to change the bowls. The fact is that cats' whiskers are very sensitive, so when the bowl is too deep, they touch the edges and this prevents them from enjoying the food. Another reason is that the food is too close to the water bowl and the cat wants to eat a little further away. Now that's being very picky about food. Why do rabbits thump their hind legs? Rabbits are very cute, but sometimes they can surprise their owners as well. Occasionally, these creatures start kicking their hind legs without warning. Stop being a little brat. Stop. <laughs> Stop bumping. Stop being mad. Some people find it funny, but in reality, it's not funny for the rabbit at all. Most likely, it's afraid of something and is trying to protect itself in this way. It's a reaction to another animal, it's normal. But if the owner has become the enemy, it's better to leave the rabbit alone for a while. Why do rabbits hop around? Our long-eared buddies generally have a fair- Because it's the only way they can. ...well-developed body language. For example, rabbits can jump high and turn slightly in the air. Most of the time, this happens when they are let out for a walk. <coughs> The reason is very simple. The animal is happy and comfortable in its new environment. We too sometimes want to jump when we are happy, so we totally understand how rabbits feel. Why do hamsters freeze? I'm alive, but I'm dead. Has this hamster died? Stop it. If that's what you thought, this little actor has managed to fool you. Hamsters and other rodents often pretend to be dead to protect themselves and avoid being attacked by predators. Surely the animal... So like a possum. Scared or disturbed by some- Which, fun fact, a possum's only defense is playing dead. So if the predator sees right through it, possum is screwed. 
something, so it just needs to be calmed down. And sometimes they literally freeze on the spot. Some animals flee, others attack the enemy, but these little creatures are paralyzed with fear. It may not be the best way to hide from danger, but hamsters know best how to act in such situations. Can guinea pigs purr? You think cats are the only ones who can purr with pleasure? How about guinea pigs? <laughs> It's not some kind of anomaly. These furry rodents can also purr when they're happy. Scratch them a little and you'll get the desired effect. Also, who came up with the idea of calling these animals pigs? You have to admit, they don't have anything in common. Why do dogs tilt their heads? Warning, the level of cuteness on your screens is going to spike to unbelievable levels. <laughs> Indeed, dog. I'm gonna guess because they're curious. Dogs tilt their heads all the time. Many people think it's their way of trying to understand our speech or to hear some familiar words. A walk? Maybe a walk outside? Sometimes it seems that they are willing to twist their neck to understand what humans around them are talking about. <laughs> However, some scientists are sure that the head tilt has nothing to do with hearing. The animals. The rest of the world thinks that it's really strange that America sings the anthem at their domestic sports games. In other countries, you only sing. <laughs> Not a skippable ad. Not skippable ads suck. just want some love. Why do parrots need mirrors? <coughs> Animals often perceive their reflection in the mirror as another creature. Parrots are an amazing example. Notice how lively this fellow is talking to his copy. <coughs> he seemed to really like the guy in the mirror. Parrots are quite sociable and fairly outgoing creatures, so they may court their reflection, dance with it, and even feed it. Admit it, sometimes you too look at yourself with the same admiration. Why do cats make strange noises? Did the cat get into a chew toy, take out the squeaker, and then accidentally swallow it? That's what it sounds like. These sounds are hard to mistake for anything else. Some animals go crazy rolling around on the floor, but cats have chosen a slightly different way to go bananas. If you have a cat, you know what it is. A bird flying by the window, or maybe the hunter spotted a mouse, a squirrel, or some other small animal, whatever. For some reason, our pet's instincts make them chirp in a funny way when staring at potential prey. So don't be alarmed if you hear something like that. It's just that your cat really wants to hunt. Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real life? Nothing dull, only action, only adventures, chases and fights, love confessions and sudden betrayals. Don't believe us? Follow the link and see for yourselves. Our animation channel, Private Diary, reveals the deepest secrets. Don't forget to subscribe. And this concludes my reaction to if your cat bites, uh, bites you, here's what it really means. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.